Again with that massive fire, CBS 2's Charlie DeMar is on the scene. And Charlie, what do you have for us? And Rob, this fire continues to rip through this apartment complex. It started at 1.30. Check out behind me. You can still see firefighters continuing to attack this fire. I just spoke with the fire chief moments ago, and he says that they have exhausted all of their options of nearby fire departments that they would normally use in larger fires, and they are going even further to bring more firefighters here. Check out from, chop, from Chopper 2. You can see the smoke still raging from this building as firefighters try and get a handle on this. Earlier, you could see those flames shooting from apartment complexes, from the windows, from just about anywhere of the three structures here. Most of these units do have patios or balconies. We've seen many of those actually burn away since we've been out here. Three residents and a firefighter were treated for smoke inhalation, but they have since been released, just minor injuries there. But residents here, they have been forced really to watch their apartments burn. I spoke to a young girl moments ago who said her balcony was actually on fire when a police officer started banging on her door to get her out. Apparently someone was like in their balcony grilling, I don't know, and then the balcony caught on fire and then it started spreading on the roof and everything. Seeing your bedroom like that, what's going through your head? I just like, feel like, what am I going to do? Like, where are we going? Like, I was like, I was shaking so much. I was actually about to faint in the car because, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm a kid still, and I, I don't know what to do. And these firefighters will continue to be out here for several more hours. The chief saying possibly through the night, putting out hot spots once they finally do have a handle on this. The chief saying also the construction of this building has presented a major challenge, that it's structurally very sound, but when a fire gets a hold of a building like this, it really just goes up like a box of toothpicks, which is, again, the issue here. There are three built, two buildings that are total loss, as a third one is partially lost in this apartment complex that has about 300 units. Firefighters now actively trying to save a fourth building that just has some minor smoke damage. But again, you see these flames, you see the smoke. These firefighters are exhausted, so it will take some time before firefighters will be able to take a, a little more defensive attack on this. The Red Cross is also out here to try and help these people who will certainly be looking for a new place to sleep tonight. We are live tonight in Prospect Heights. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Yeah, that picture behind you is dramatic, Charlie. Thank you. Also breaking tonight,